Yeah, I know it's late, but listen, the sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you. She said... Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Okay, then. But hurry. This is like the song I wrote my way out. What the heck was that? Ah! Unhand me! <laughs> Back up, path. You know you want to. You know you have to. Oh, flipping crows. Get out of here. See, I keep using my stuff and I don't get it back. Like, I had a, cool, I had a nice flashlight. Can I get this flashlight back? Like, come on now. What kind of crap is that? The shotgun was better. Whoa. Alan. Whoa. Oh no. God, we gotta go. I didn't even see that guy. Get off me, guy.
Whoa! I was gonna say, you shall not pass. But pass he did. Crap. How's that possible? I'm supposed to be following you. <laughs> Help me! Ah, oh, God. Shotgun ammo. Let's go, Wake. I need more ammo right now. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Right, right, right. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry.
Come on, pick it up, guy. There we go. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God! Oh, God! Barry! Look out! Barry, move! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Keep the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. <laughs> He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Perry, you, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. <laughs> They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Well, heck, they need to have, like, ammo up there. And she's gone. I don't see Barry. Oh. Look! Wait! Maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Right, 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 right. I got the breathing lady right now. I have to go to her. She's been good to me this entire game. It's a trap, right? I wonder what those things do. I still haven't figured that out yet. We'll figure it out someday, though. My sheriff. I don't like the fact that there's flashbangs everywhere, but hey. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here this they come. Oh, let's take a break. Oh no.
kind of needs to slow down and take it easy right now. Let me shoot him. Whoa. Kick it down. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Out of my way. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. Bleh. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Oh, not yeah. the basement. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. As long as there's a lot of ammo down here, I'm not... I'm o okay. Oh, no. Seen those guys like a mile away. Who were they trying to kid right now? Oh, I can kick the door. Did you call nine one one? I, I sure Guess did, guys. That one saw the light, huh? <laughs> you didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. It's good there's like five of us now. Someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license. You're cleared for departure. Tonight's ring. I had no idea he was like that close. Timber this guy. Oh sh crap. I thought there was flash flashbangs. Come on, Barry, you're doing a whole job right now, guy. And you got all the lights. You got more lights than I do. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Wait, Don't what? Don't take too long. I want to get out of here.
Well, this is not good. Like boss time. Okay, now what? Should be able to hurry up, but Time now. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. I hope you know how to deal with this, Wake. 
I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Did I lose my gun again? I did. I had all the good guns too. What is going on here? I hate this game just for that. How many thermoses do I need right now? Do I shoot it? times I grab like this same flashlight over and over again. Alan. Oh no. And here's a new song from a band that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War.
Oh, I didn't know you were that close, guy. Wait, what? I dodged that. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. <clears throat> the heck am I? S I'm not turning on that radio again. Back it off, boys. Let's back it off right now. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I barely made it out of there. Whew. If I was yelling, I'm sorry. Getting tired of getting my weapons and have to get them back. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. I know we're definitely not swimming, right? <clears throat> oh, thank God. That's why I like her. Always on time, never late, right? Whoa! Some say down and around. Some say the lights are on. Whoa, 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 you guys. Back it off, one guy. I didn't know that was a flash bang. I thought that was a. Oops. And I rode my way out.
Yeah, of course. Why would it not be locked? All right. Oh, no. There you go. No! Ah! Don't mind me, I'm reloading right now, guy. Doing it for the thermos. Thermos boys, my thermos just out of nowhere. Off me, birds. How many times I picked up this pump shotgun? Take a break. Watch some TV. Dreaming of being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men. Such philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract. And yet, some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence. In night springs. Tonight's episode. Sorry. Oh, 
It's my time to shine now. <laughs> the support I was asking for. Wait, what? Oh, you're fired. The lady in the helicopter. Support, not let me die. Gentle giants. Oh. oh, I hate when that guy does that. I'll reload that. Ah, crap. I ran right into that, didn't I? Oh, how did that not? Just say, how did I not kill that guy? Oh. I'm out of batteries right now, that's probably not a good thing, right?
Damn it, I was doing good too. I was enjoying the helicopter because I could be lazy at that point in time. Oh my god, okay. Get the flip out of here, sunshine. I need to go where it says safe haven, like, real quick. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me! About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I have a secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's draining all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Oh, I have to go back out. I don't want to do this. I was just happy to save Haven Rat. Fly, my brothers, my dark brothers, fly. Why are you running backwards, bruh? I was say, I thought it like sound like there's something behind me. Out of here, ninja. Weaver had sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Very 
Okay, what? There we go. Well, number two, keep the lights on. I gotta get all three of them. That sucks. How? Ah. Eh! How do I do all three? Bingo. Call myself a bit of a rocket scientist and a genius. Most and not the most of the time. <laughs> I wrote my way out. Whoa! Sorry. Kind of just got into it right there. Let me in. <sighs> this way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt, knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. 
And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. I don't think I would have... Uh, I think I would have kept going to the, the pipe. me guy site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Go 
most of your night running uphill while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe. You know your helicopter crash landed in uh, night springs. <laughs> oh, but it's dangerous out here. Oh, sure. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. You can't be a good mind. Why do I have to call the elevator? I'm just gonna take my time and let them all come at after us. Ten hours. Oh Here no. Oh no. Oh no. They're coming. You have to hold them off. You have to hold them off. Me, I'm chilling right now. I know, Barry. You just hold on a second, guy. I'm trying to do my thing right now. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Be careful, okay? Okay. Oh, geez, I hate this. Well, you can get out and push. <laughs> okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Oh. Sure, why not? What about me?
Oh no. Run! How do you get? Oh my. Ah, fuck. Whoa, easy guy. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, no. Lovely. I know that's a well lit room, but it's not well lit anymore because uh, somebody got a little mad, right? This can be a hobby or a job. Oh, I was no. ridiculously outnumbered. A searchlight could even the odds. Oh god, reload. Reload! Oh no. Oh no. Enough. You will go no further.
There's an old army base at Raincoat Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. anymore because six and 33 and 118 need changing soon and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired and if you take it I won't have to do that anymore the page was autobiographical a memory from my childhood but I didn't write this it was a page written by Thomas Zane none of them were supposed to exist anymore Alan seven years old would fight sleep to the bitter end when he did sleep he soon woke up screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind one evening his mother sitting by his bed offered him an old light switch she called it the clicker and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away to imbue the talisman with all possible power she added that it had been given to her by alan's father Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. <laughs> 